Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. I got this 73 out here. I believe this will be a good self-defense, home defense gun. I believe it'll run fast enough to keep up with whatever we need. And uh, let's check it out and see what I just put in it to soup it up a little bit. We got the 73 and 3220 back out here, but today it's got a super short stroke kit in it. We put a super short stroke kit. We put a lever spring safety in it. We put a small caliber aluminum carrier block. We put the uh, uh, spring lifter kit arms and we put a six spring main spring kit and we put this uh, ha uh, trigger on it as well. This is a straight trigger. So let's uh, show you its features. And we're going to do some shooting of it and see if it's any faster. It's really got a smooth action. Man, this action is smooth. It's smoother than glass. Okay, as you can see, this has got a different style trigger in it. And what it's for is when you're levering it, you can actually catch it before it gets all the way back. And it's also smooth on the bottom and you're not going to uh, stab your finger. So this is all the different stuff we put in it. We put some more stuff in it too because the, hand, the trigger... And uh, it really is a smooth running gun now. was still under a second for three shots. And let's see what the split time was. 26 and 32. Here's these bullets that we're using. There's the chronograph. Let's get back and shoot it. That bullet didn't do a whole lot of damage, but come all the way through over into here and did not expand at all. We're shooting one of these right here, cowboy action loads. I don't know what the velocities of these are. 115 grain bullet. Let's see what it does. It was doing a thousand feet a second, so it's really slow. I can't believe they'd load it that slow. That's just ridiculously slow. But it went all the way through and exited. The hollow point, and this in here is loaded up quite a bit hotter. So let's see what this hollow point does. Okay. We'll shoot this in more in the middle. It expanded out and stopped in the first block of ballistic gelatin. Made a pretty good sized wound channel to start with, but it stopped in that first block. 
right there. This right here is an extreme penetrator. Let's see what it does. Stopped right there, the second block. All right, we are gonna shoot a 100 grain berry bullet. It's a hollow point, and this one, my son killed a deer with it, and my daughter also killed a eight point buck with it. So the factory load, which is this one here, went almost the furthest. There's a stream defender, or penetrator, and there's one. And then that's the factory load. And then these other hollow points, they just stopped in the first block, which is pretty cool. These two right here are the berry bullets. These are the two extreme defenders. This right here is the hollow point that was doing like 1,600 and something feet a second. These right here are all the factory bullets. There you go. Eleven thirty-two. Let's see if we can't speed it up, son. Then thirty. was half a second total 26 I don't know about you guys, but I had a whole lot of fun running this little bitty 73 with its uh, short stroke kit and all that stuff in there. And I think it'll make a really good home defense gun. You know, it holds 13 rounds uh, and you're able to cram them in the loading gate really quick. So I believe it'll make a good home defense round for on the farm and taking out little varmints and stuff. And, you know, you can you can soup that. Uh, uh, 3220 up good enough to kill up to deer size game so that'll be good enough for two-legged critters too so thanks for watching god bless each and every one of you come back and see me you hear